Okay, man. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Davis Driving. <laughs> anyway, we are on our way to a junkyard, well, like a pick and pull or whatever, but they only have one in Junction City, so we're about to go there. We were trying to go there yesterday, but they closed at 5 o'clock. And by the time we were dressed, it was already like 4.30. So, they closed at noon today. It is now, what, 9? 46. 46. So, we have some time. But to go see if we can find um, a rear and front window for this camper topper that I found on Facebook Marketplace for hundred dollars guys like so I don't think we really told y'all what, we, what we're doing I, I don't think so I don't think so well let me give you a little rundown let me wait for T to get to the stoplight because I'm trying to stabilize this, this phone but Jesus mm -hmm. it's, it's shaking okay so we wanted to get a um okay, I'll put here. there she go <laughs> So we was trying to get a, um, what you call it, a, no, we were trying to get an RV. Oh yeah. But there's a lot of RVs around here, but a lot of them scamming you, trying to scam you. So we decided to try to get a camper, pop up, a pop up camper for the truck, but same thing, scam. Every time you click on it, it's like people trying to sell the same thing in 10,000 states. So then we decided okay we'll get a van and we'll just build it out we have not been able to find a van that doesn't have over a hundred and fifty thousand miles in it so we're trying to get a van that's under under sixty thousand miles on it and we've been having a hard time to do so let me pull the camera this way because it's hurting my arms so we've been having a hard time to find that so I was like doing some research and I saw that some people have been building out their truck bed and they put like a camp, like a topper, a truck topper on it and they build it out. So I started looking for one and it's 2000 and up to get a brand new one for T's truck. So then I started looking at Facebook Marketplace and the price was averaging from like 500, no, $350 and up. Oh, which wasn't too bad but all of those places were like far like Oklahoma and Nebraska and um, Kansas City which is like two hours or something from by us we all know the gas prices are higher as heck right now so I was like I'm not gonna pay um, 300 something dollars for a topper a used topper and then I still have to like drive three four hours away and then drive back that's gonna be by the time you're done with that look horses baby oh my, gosh, my wife love horses these little horses oh. yeah by the time you're done with that um you running about what what you think it'll be like six hundred dollars yeah because yeah, 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 it's good to drive four five hours that way so you know, and our, our truck takes like a, a hundred and something dollars so yeah so i kept looking and i found three that i liked one was two of them was in junction city and one of them was in um an hour and a half away um the first one it wasn't bad until the guy flipped it over the whole side of it was like made out of fiberglass or something and was broken and we showed it to one of her friends who um, also has a truck topper and he knows a lot about like he knows a lot about um, building out campers and stuff like that and he was like don't buy that because even if you try to fix it it's gonna fly off of your truck Baby, why are you turning? I was trying to figure out why are you turn here and you're supposed to turn there. I'm literally following it. Oh, you have Hess and thing in your thing? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, so, because watch, look at the street right there. That's what I was trying to figure out why made you do that. Go ahead, then. I'm going to come in. So, I was like, okay, pass. And then the guy was acting weird. He creeped us out. He was ooh. definitely giving crackhead vibes. I'm so sorry. I yes, he that was that's another story he was <laughs> yeah that's another story anyway so 
we ended up going with the second person and that second person, their camper had no windows. It, it was like an open thing. We didn't realize how old the, the truck camper was, which is fine because we still love it and we're gonna make it ours. But it is from a 1991 um, GMC, GMC Jimmy Blazer, SLE. SLE Blazer. Oh, like, but it's so, baby, dip, dip. Solid, solid. It's very solid. But it's so solid. Like, it's not made of no Like, it's as heavy. It's be safe as hell up in there. Let's just say that. <laughs> and it's perfect for this weather. Tornadoes and all this crap. Oh, yes. It sure is. Even though you're not gonna be camping up in that bad boy with no tornadoes. Absolutely not. Excuse my hair, guys. I washed my hair yesterday and I didn't do my hair. And I'm, I have it up in the air because I've been ripping out my dress because I keep leaning on my hair and I pull. I don't know what I need to do. And my hair gets caught up in stuff and whatever. Anyway, so all that to say, we are at, we're going to the junkyard to see if we can find a rear window and a front window for it. So actually, we need a rear window and we need a front I don't know how to say it. I think the part that's close to the tailgate to the um uh, they call it a lift gate window right we need a rear window and a lift gate window is what we need yes so we're gonna take you with us um I don't know how this junkyard is because I'm so used to like pull apart where you pay a dollar to get in and you have to and you get to like walk around all they have a lot of vehicles they have so much they have lots of so huge the pull apart the closest one is two hours away from here so this is the only little um i guess what you call it little um little town salvage it's yeah. a little salvage yard y'all like yeah if you know what i'm talking about it's mostly in country town look at that camper oh that's so nice yeah so see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll take y'all with us and so y'all can see if we find anything that will work for our vehicle that window there will work but i don't know this this looks like a salvage yard too right there anyway we'll check back in with you guys peace out So sadly, the place is closed today. Of all days, online it says it's open, but they had signs all over the building saying that it was closed. Oh, something here stays. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What died over here? We'll be back. Oh, my God. You know you're in Kansas now. Remember when you see Springs? all these cornfields, look at them. Look how much cornfields. Y'all ever seen Jesus now, Creepers? Now you know you're in Kansas. Those of you who know. Well, remind us never to go to Birch Recycling and Salvage ever again. We literally damn near got profiled because we're yeah. black, clearly. Um, we went, we pulled up, there was one guy there talking to him. They both looked at us, continued talking, and, and the guy was like, Yeah, let me get out of your hair. And he left. We asked the guy what asked the guy if he had what we were looking for. And he was just like, Yeah, I don't have that. He didn't even go walk he didn't around. Even walk around. Right. He didn't even look. He just was like, Yeah, we don't have that. No problem. Because we we saw a vehicle that would that, have that would have worked. That had the window that we needed. But whatever. You don't want to make a sale? That's on you. That's on you, boo boo. You choose not to feed your family, that's on you. Keep your that's shit. That's not how you have a business because Google reviews are very real. But whatever um we're about to i don't know i will see if i can find something on facebook marketplace we're back it's the same day excuse me i just changed my headband on my top because it's hot as hell so yeah anyway Whew. we're back on the road another bug where the fuck these ugly ass bugs be coming from bro Ugh. Yes. I'm trying to get a free ride. I'm crying. I am crying on this. <laughs> That's funny. The bug was trying to hitchhike a ride. Anyway, 
I'm hot. You can see I'm literally burning up. Anyway, um, pretty much this project is going to be a little bit more difficult than we thought. So I have been looking high and low for a couple days now, it must be over a week, for a window for this tailgate. Well, you want to know something? You want to know something? The window for the topper, there's no window for the topper. That topper came off of a, uh, a vehicle that had a lift gate and the window used to go into the tailgate, mm -hmm. then up to the topper. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to jerry rig. Um, so, yeah. Oh, girl, you and your turns. Dang. Almost past that. You focus on driving. Don't talk right, about to talk. My wife cannot multitask, okay guys? When Can it comes to driving, me? when she turn, when she's turning, if she turns to see something, her vehicle turns with her. If her head turns, her vehicle turns. Is that a is that a oh okay, never mind. I thought that was um nothing. Generators, lights. That's what they take when you go to the field. Mm -hmm. They plug it to a vehicle and it'll make it Oh, okay. Smart. They will drive it through the base. It's cool. The base is really cool. Well, this side of the base is pretty cool. Like it has all these little. It's giving Harry Potter vibes. Yeah, like what you do? Like look at that little barn thing with of hay. Like oh, for the horses. And then look at this. Yeah. Oh, little stone walls. <laughs> it's giving Harry Potter. Oh Lord. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, we are on our way to to Kansas City. We're gonna drive two hours to a pick and pull to see if we can find two windows and see what we can do with them. Praying to God, the biggest thing is the measurements. If the windows are the measurements we need, we can figure everything else out after. Yeah. But the goal is to find two windows, one for the front and one for the rear. And then we will see what we gonna do. We have all the measurements and everything. And um, yeah, so I'll tell y'all. <sighs> If this is a floop, because it's a two hour drive. Lord. Jeez. That's all right. We're going to make the most out of this two hour drive. You mess with me. Don't let me see no more. True. Because I'm walking them out just like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we look like a hard ass mess, but we don't care. Right. We got each other. We ain't looking for nobody. We ain't trying to press nobody. So, we'll see how we get close to the um, pick and poke. All right. All right. We're back home and we ended up um, getting some epoxy here instead of going to the place to get the windows we end up getting epoxy um, it's called why am I keep saying epoxy it's acrylic acrylic yeah we got the this brand it broke off so we ended up buying the damaged one that they had because this thing was 200 and some dollars but we got 50% off. So we got the acrylic sheet. See here, that's the brand from Home Depot. Ouch, shit, that hurt, scrape me. And we just um, drew out the sketch of how it's supposed to, the shape that we need. I'm gonna take, give y'all a quick little clip of the shell that we got. And so you can have an idea of what we're gonna do. So, this is what we bought. This is the shell underneath here. Don't feel like removing that stuff right now, but I'll show you all later on. And this is the big space we're trying to close up here. That is the part that's gonna go up against the truck. And this is our little sketch. So we pretty much just leaned it up against the frame and drew it out. And I'm about to cut it out so that we can um, make sure we have the correct measurements and sizing before we cut into this because we only have one sheet and we need to make two windows out of this one sheet and it's exact so we can't make any mistakes because it wasn't cheap okay the bad boy was over 90 some dollars so i'm not trying to waste money on this little project this part here i'm not too worried about because that's where a window used to like slide up into so there's already grooves for this to fit in properly nice and snug so that's okay 
This is the bad boy that I'm worried about because as you can see, this used to bolt onto the frame of the vehicle. So, yeah. So we're gonna have to see how we're gonna get this acrylic to, I don't know, I don't know. Because even if we cut it out, like what are we gonna like adhere to? Unless we create, uh, you put you like, um, like a, can I, just don't neglect these. Unless we create, we put, put like hinges on the top and we could open and close it, but I don't wanna do that because that is the part that's gonna go up onto the truck. So yeah, I gotta figure that out because I don't wanna cut into this thing until I know exactly how we're gonna do this. So we have the template cut out. And now we're gonna check and make sure that it is correct. because the dryer is good. But yes, let me catch you up on this whole project. So as you can see, it's still not cut out. The windows are still not cut out because it became really stressful. None of the tools that we had was working. It started to like split the, um, the air that we needed, started cracking. Um, it just wasn't going as planned. So we had to wait for some tools to come in the mail. And one of the tools that we got was this, it's a called acrylic, acrylic sheet cutter. Cause this is acrylic um, that we purchased. And it looks like this. And I started testing it out to see how it works. And it's gonna take forever to cut this big thing. So I was like, uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. So I have that there. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but bought that from Amazon. And then I bought um, a 15 pack of different bits for my oscillating tube. I have the Chicago, um, let me show you. Ugh. So I have this tool and I had where is it? I had um, these different um, accessories for it, but it did not work to cut the acrylic. So I went back to Harbor Freight and I told the guy what I was trying to cut and he suggested I use this. It was very irritating because this one thing was $10 and that pack of three was five something. I don't even know why, but whatever. 
So I'm gonna try this and see if it worked. It works. Um, we tried the jigsaw, that didn't work. We bought like multiple different um, jigsaw blades to see um, if it will work. It didn't work. We tried it all, guys, and well, we think we tried it all. So I'm about to put this blade onto the oscillator and see if it works. I watch a lot of videos and a lot of people said this work because the acrylic that we have is super thin. And they said that because it's thin, it's going to vibrate the, um, somebody messaged me, sorry. Because it's super thin, it's going to vibrate the, um, the, Plec the um, acrylic while you, the, ah, uh, get your words out again. The jigsaw is gonna vibrate the acrylic sheet and it's gonna cause it to crack. So that's what was happening. It was vibrating it like this, even though we had it clamped down, it was like lifting off and cracking. I'm gonna show y'all where it pretty much like started to crack. Um, we're going to um, put some epoxy on it to cover it up, but I'm gonna show y'all now. So if you see right here, you can see the cracks there and there. So it cracked in two places and then it cracked over here, but I didn't care about this side cracking because I'm not gonna use it, but it cracked underneath this thing. But the guy at um, Harbor Freight said to use clear tape instead of the blue tape um, and it'll make it a little bit easier to see what I'm doing and also cut through because it's gonna get really hot. And he said, even if it gets hot, don't worry, it will still cut through. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to um, change out this blue tape around this and put this clear tape and try and see if this will work. All right, guys, let's see. <laughs> stress all these different tools we bought and thing that work 
That was literally 20 bucks total. The freaking instrument was like, no, actually it was 30 bucks total. The instrument was like 20 something and the little bit was like $10. Like that's what worked. Now all we have to do is file it down and shape it. We know it's not perfectly curved, but this is our first time ever cutting plexiglass okay. or acrylic, whatever you want to call it. We're going to have one more piece to cut and we can file it and everything and we'll do that tomorrow. We just want to finish cutting them so that we can feel like this idea at least is coming to life because because we felt so like literally felt so like defeated um when it didn't work the first time with the jigsaw so we're excited oh my god anyway i'm gonna put my phone to charge while t cuts the other piece here um we just wanted to quickly show you all that you can do it we are newbies we don't know nothing about this stuff and mm. we figured it out oh let me show you all something we just bought this today from this guy for $100, like y'all know these things are expensive. And we got it for $100, it has a key and everything. We wanna go camping really bad, so we've been getting everything that we need to be able to do that. So, yeah guys. It is super late guys, right now it's like 10.35. I know my neighbors hate me. But this is the window for that side, and then this is the one for this side. Right now I'm using 60 grit. Woo! T nearly dropped the thing. Jesus. I'm using 60 grit sandpaper. I need to move up from there. No, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm flicking with this broom. So I'm going to use 60 grit sandpaper to smooth out the edges. Um, babe, when she was cutting the box, did this crazy, um, I don't know where she got this, this shape from. So I'm hoping that I could smoothen it out so that it could look like my side. Where it's a nice swoop, because it needs to go in here. So I'm about to sand this down really quick, and then we're gonna see if we can get this piece to fit in there, and we'll deal with the rest tomorrow, because we're ready to go to bed. Yay! Uh -huh.